Hey, what's up guys? So today's video is going to be a little different. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining a concept called RPE or rate of perceived exertion. Essentially, RPE is a scale used to measure the intensity of your exercise. This is a subjective means um, to try and figure out pretty much how hard you're going. The reason I love it for powerlifters specifically is because when programming percentage, it makes no sense to program somebody 60% on a day where they can't max out. Think about it. You're programming someone 60% of their max, but if they're not able to max out on that day, then that 60% isn't accurate. Instead, if you program someone an RPE 6 or an RPE 5 realistically, because that's more consistent with 60%, then you get a good gauge of where they're at on that specific day. If they're having an amazing day and their central nervous system isn't taxed whatsoever, they can go a little bit heavier. If they are having a bad day and their central nervous system is fried as anything, then they can take a step back and still make progress. So, how does RPE work? Well, RPE pretty much means however many reps you have left in the tank and I'll have a scale up explaining it but pretty much RPE 10 means I could have no left reps left in the tank RPE 9 means I could have done one more rep RPE 8 means I could have done two more reps 7 means I could have done three six means I could have done four and so on and so forth so if I set a five by five on squat at an RPE 8 it means that when I'm on that fifth rep of each set I could only squeeze out two more reps meaning that if I was trying my very hardest I could only squeeze out seven reps. Using RPE allows us as athletes to be way more intuitive with our training. I remember when I was playing college football and we had programs based on percentage and my percentages were always really low and I get it right in season training you don't want to tax the CNS too much but I'm talking, we'd have a five by five on bench and I'd be programmed at about 30% of what my actual max is. Now, if that coach had known I was an experienced lifter, he could have programmed me something like an RPE five, assuming I would overshoot and do a six or a seven, but even still allowing me to gauge where I'm at with my strength on that specific day would allow me to make much more gains than just throwing an arbitrary percentage at me regardless of how I'm feeling. You're not going to perform the same 24-7. If you're coaching someone during their final exams at university, their strength output is not going to be the same as it is two months later in the summer purely because they are stressed out and their central nervous system has a hard time differentiating the stress from lifting and the stress from staying up until 8 a.m. trying to study for that final health exam. This is why RPE is needed because that exact same athlete can continue to train in every single period of life and make progress. Rain or shine, summer or winter, good day or bad day, training using RPE is the next wave in making you the best athlete you can possibly be. Have a good one. Thank you.